Dajia Hawusu Anton and today I'm gonna show you guys what a real Danish Wojingwen eats in a day. Okay, I couldn't pronounce <laughs> Viking correctly. Let's try let's try again. Wujing I, I can't say the last part, it's pretty really difficult, but you guys know what I mean. I'm really lucky today because I have my Sumu to help me find what I should eat um, for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And she's also gonna make some good, good lunch for me. So I'm really, really excited to try and taste that. Um, she's a pretty, pretty good uh, like Danish cook. So I'm pretty excited to taste how her Danish food uh, tastes like. So now me and my sumo <laughs> are gonna go out shopping. Right, this is next level super awkward because this is where I work. But let's go in there and get one, no, two. Ah, Kao Le Pei and Yi Ge Ping Go Chang. <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> okay, but let's go in there and get the stuff. Um, can I get Yi Ge Ping Go Chang? Okay. Okay, he understood. It's Anything else? <laughs> um, yeah, can I get... <laughs> can I get... Kyla uh, Pai! <laughs> the the Hübin style. <laughs> it's crazy you understood what I said in, uh, in Mandarin. It's crazy. Okay, that was super awkward, but I'm getting used to it. But I got my, um, my stuff here, so uh, let's get going and buy some more things. I just thought about something goofy, because when you call uh, my grandmother Sumo, that's like the pronunciation in uh, Mandarin. But what about when you say like sumo wrestling? Then it must must sound like pretty similar to sumo. Then it's almost grand grandma wrestling. You wanna you wanna do some sumo wrestling later, grandma? No, don't go. No. <laughs> she didn't wanted to hear my goofiness. It's about like, I think, almost 1 p.m. and I haven't even eaten breakfast yet, so I'm quite hungry. But the thing that I'm most excited about is my Sumus, my grandma's smørbrød. That's the thing that she is gonna make for me. It's like a Danish lunch that people just in general eat. It's usually uh, like bread and with butter on it and with something and with some like meat on it too. That's like in general what smørbrød is. So here we got all of the breads, all of the smørbrød. It's, it's crazy how Danish <laughs> this is. My grandma made this and I'm really excited just to try them all. I don't think that I can eat like all of it, but um, I'm just gonna, you know, taste everything and, you know, maybe rate it. And a thing that people from Denmark usually also do when they're eating lunch and dinner, they usually have a beer. So, um, god damn. Skål. Let's taste the first bread of the day. The first one that I'm gonna taste is the apple pork with fried pork on top and the cucumber. I think this is gonna be my favorite one. Okay, let's get it. I would say there's probably some other smørbrød that is better on here. I think this is gonna be my favorite one. And the next one on the list is the smørbrød with remoulade and roast beef. Okay, let's get it. Mmm. This is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Damn. You guys are missing out. <laughs> Ian and Eric, you're missing out. And the one that I've been eating for like the most amount of times in my life is the smørbrød with fish fillet, uh, shrimps, mayonnaise, 
and caviar and also avocado. So let's try that. I hope it's wakao chao hao chi chu chi. Yeah. This is mine, guys. I'm keeping this. It's better than I thought it would be. It's really, really good. And the last one that I'm gonna taste today, Kao Le Pai <laughs> and Hung Chun Chi Chai. Something like that. Hung Chun Ji Dri Ji? No, it's it's not like G, like what up my G. Hung Chun <laughs> No okay, okay, okay. No mind, I'm just I'm just gonna eat. <laughs> oh my god. Me and my Mandarin. I'm gonna pass the the test 100%. I'm gonna get it 100% on my Mandarin test. No doubts, no doubts, guys. Okay, let's try it. Mm. In all honesty, I'm a big fan of the Kaole Pai, but I don't really like the Hung Jung G Thai something. Yeah, I'm I'm just not a big fan of that. I've never been like a fan of that, so I mean, yeah, I'm kinda, kinda like biased in that way. But I think the one that I liked the most was the one with the fish fillet. It was so, so good. So I'm just looking forward to eat another one of this. That was lunch, guys. Again, school, and I will see you at dinner time. God damn, it's around like 7 p.m. right now and <laughs> I took the craziest nap of my life. That food li literally killed me. Because it's dinner time and I'm not hungry at all. But I think that I would try to show you guys some of the like most popular thing here in Denmark right now that people eat. It's not really Danish, but everyone just eats it here. So, um... I'm just gonna drive down now to get it and I'll show you guys what it is. So the ultimate dinner is the thing that I have right down here. Wait, that, that sounded sus, but <laughs> it's a sala pizza that I'm gonna show you guys now. It's the best. So for me, I would say that this is the ultimate hygge uh, dinner meal for me. And you know, hygge is a Danish word. That means, you know, you're having fun, you're chilling, you're just feeling good. So this would be like an ultimate meal for me. If I'm like, you know, eating dinner, sitting at my computer, just chilling with the guys, playing some Minecraft, you just get a pizza and you also get a monster. I'm not, I'm not sponsored, but I just really like monster. <laughs> this is like some of the best stuff that I'm eating when, you know, I'm craving some good good food it's not that expensive and it tastes really good but of course it's still like fast food and it's not like traditional danish food but in general a lot of people in denmark eat a salad pizza with kebab just in general you know pizzas but this one in particular is pretty pretty popular here let's just dig in guys but before i dig in i need to taste the sweetness of the monster. Okay, but let's get a bite. Cheers, guys. School. Honestly, this is the best. I think the pizza just makes like a good vibe for like people like my age or like younger because it's just like a good like connection um, food i think and it's just it's awesome to eat it tastes good and i would like to compare the meals that i got from today to some of the old meals that i got when i was in taiwan with ian and eric so like rate which one is best breakfast it's it's kind of hard to pick which uh, meal was best because i got the uh, egg omelette and so I won with Ian and Eric, and I got the um, the bread with uh, cheese and the uh, pastry here today. And I really, really like both. If I didn't have the uh, pastry today, I would 100% say that the Taiwanese breakfast was better. But 
with the bread, uh, with the pastry and with the bread, I would say that the meals tie each other. I got all of the meals, uh, some of the meals from the uh, Taiwanese street market, where some of them were really, really good. I didn't want it to taste the chicken butter. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Do you wanna try um, chicken butt? <laughs> It, it's good, right? Yeah. It sounds pretty nasty though. No, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, no, I think I'm good actually. <laughs> I think I'm good. I actually really, really like the meals from the Taiwanese uh, street market. And I would say like the bread, the, the smurple that I got for lunch compared to the Taiwanese street market food, I would rate the Taiwanese street market food to be uh, better. But of course, you know, it's, it's hard to say like which one was the best because I can't really like remember the taste too much but some of it was really really good just in general almost everything else there's like hardly something that can beat this but I was still almost tired with with the dinner that I got with Ian and Eric in Taiwan but just in general I would almost always go with the pizza because it's just like a such like nostalgic meal for me you know i've eaten it for years <laughs> getting home from school on fridays getting on with the homies you know playing some computer and ordering a pizza that was the best so it's also like nostalgic for me and that would probably also like be the case for some of you guys when you're eating you know a lot of Taiwanese food. I just haven't, you know, gotten that nostalgic feeling about that food yet. I mean, I got it with the uh, bubble tea in a way. But yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. It wasn't like really a crazy like video or anything like that. It was, you know, kind of chill, kind of hygge. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys what like people generally eat in Denmark when it comes to like traditional food, but also in general for like food that's determined as hygge. But yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.